Deku can't help himself though, even though this massive crowd of aristocratic you know, devils, he couldn't help himself. He reaches down, grabbing onto the back of her face, staring into her eyes again. She says, how are you here? How did you... You didn't. As she stares down to his chains, he brings up her, her um, putting his hand onto her chain, bringing it up to him, staring her directly in the eyes. That doesn't matter. We're together now. I wish you were right, Deku. Shh. Enjoy it while it lasts, at least. Please. But before he could touch his lips to hers again. Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt your, uh, what is this, science with my bride. But, uh, if you want to kiss her, you kind of have to be considering the, gra the groom to that bride you're kissing. Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, <coughs> sorry. You do not seem to notice or remember me. I... A little girl comes out in front of him. A girl with a sort of tuxedo on, unlike the Demon King's garb, which was, you know, fuzzy. It had a very, uh, it had this aura coming from the middle of it, sort of expanding out through his rib cage. He was clearly undead. And yet, alive. Very alive at the same time. His, the consumed souls that he hung around his neck. This massive chain of, of every single crime that he had committed. Our Lord wishes to test you to a duel. What did I say, Marion? Don't... <coughs> don't speak for me, you little shit. As he bashes, he like hits her on the head and, and she's like, I'm sorry, my lord. I only wanted to put this, this poser at his place. And she looks over um, to Deku, kind of like spinning on the ground and then like running behind him. And Deku, Deku's just like very confused. Who are you again? Oh my god, this little. Oh, what is your name, fine sir? I'm Deku. Ah, I see, I see. As everybody gets quiet. The whole room is completely just staring at the three of them now. But staring at the Demon King in particular. I am the Demon King. You see, I... Uh, I'm marrying that person on your arm right there. Deku looks over, and she she's just... She's not. She's agreeing, but she's also like the eyes that she's directing into him. She grabs onto his shoulder harder, squeezing, um, you know, almost drawing blood, as all of the the uh, power that they had many times before starts to reactivate. Now it was tainted before, broken, and destroyed from what they had done. But now everything came flooding back to Deku. All of her memories from landing here in the first place. Instantly being picked up by the Demon King from her looks. He f the Demon King, well, simply fell in love with her so fast. I... I sort of like him too, but he's so protective. When I sort of came into the wrong area, searching and exploring, running away from him. A demon's fight found me. The demons were wiped out the next day. I came back to that same battlefield. And in his head, he finally sees the, the massacre. A gorge made from the from the eternal um the fire that's the fire that would never go out, they said. Where all demons spawned from turned into a canyon as dust started to flow through it, becoming part of the desert. That's where I spawned. 
He made that? The whole gorge? He said it was in one hit, too. Oh my god. That's... That's why I don't want you to fight him. Please, Deku. How about this, since you won't answer me? <sighs> A duel. For both of us. <coughs> Are you okay there, old man? You seem to be coughing a lot. Don't change the subject. A duel or not. For the right for the bride. Agreed. As he, he slips his hand onto her chin, uh, the Demon King's white clothed hand. I'm encompassing her chin and all. Quite the prize, ain't she? She's not a prize. As he slaps his hand out of the way, the Demon King instantly uh, retaliated, um, bringing his fist straight into the stomach of Deku, knocking the wind completely out of him, sending a shockwave through his whole body. But he, the Demon King stepped on his foot, stopping it, the shockwave from sending Deku anywhere. As half of um, the, the room behind him was completely collapsed from the, from the vibration that had happened off of Deku's own stomach, Deku immediately curls down to the floor, coughing up blood. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. A duel it is, then. I haven't fought many, well, any person in quite a while. See you there, Deku. Bring your best. Oh, and we'll have a a, a public, um, a public ho host for this. You don't know how those are, how those work. The Toga will fill you in. <laughs> Goodbye. As he starts to walk away, the girl, the girl just goes, hmm. That's right. But, as you know, the girl kind of picks up Deku a little bit from the floor, um, bringing him back up to his to his foot. And then runs away, back behind the Demon King. Deku looks up, and Toga's just standing there in straight fear. Deku cannot even speak. His breath completely gone. Toga um, walks over to him after she finally snaps out of it. She barely even moves. Holy shit, dude! Like, what the fuck? As you know, the the mercenary guy comes in. Uh, Titan, I think his name was. <sighs> dude. Holy shit. We gotta get you prepared for this. It's, it's tomorrow, dude. It's 1 a.m. When did he say that it was gonna happen? I... I don't remember. You don't remember, kid? Oh my god, why did you kiss her, dude? The one thing you had to do. And you did it. You, you, you did it. You pissed off the Demon King. Something that nobody wants to do. God damn. I can do this. No, you can't. You just got bodied in one shot, kid. Oh my god. How, how does... Did he get stronger from the demons? He looks up to um, to Toga as she finally, you know, uh, snaps out of it and says, "Yes, he, he got all the souls from the demons, allowing him to power himself up." God damn it! Don't do what you think I think you're trying to do. No, no, I would never do that. I'm past those days. I was gonna get concerned that you weren't. How one die. We have been cursed, Deku, to each other. To love each other. What you have done can be overdone again. I have no doubt for that. Yeah, well, I'm the, I'm the one that's on the floor and the other ones that, that's standing there pretty. So what? Psychological warfare always, but it was basically that whole thing. That's true enough, I guess. Titan, please, a hand. 
as Titan, uh, Titan's just like picking him up and putting him over his shoulder. I gotta get you prepared. As you know, he um, he gets behind all the the court dresses and all the different people continuing the party. Um, people cleaning up the room. Uh, the girl sort of staying behind the small, you know, slave girl, I guess. Not really slave girl, but like a like a like a second in command kind of girl. Toga says that she'll start um, running the, you know, the uh, the auditor's booth, which basically means the the person that comments over the fight. And uh, yeah, no, she gets right on that. Um, basically, it becomes the next day. Inside of Deku's chambers, the gladiatorial chambers, that he was introduced to by the girl. Toga comes and sees him every every so often, maybe every 20 minutes, telling him when updates on everything. As the guy gets them all geared up, you know, t Titan's like, ah, you got yourself in some real deep shit this time. What do you mean this time? You haven't even seen me since I died. Don't you remember? You told me almost everything. Oh, God. Wow, he punched you so hard you were losing brain cells. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, this'll be your armor. As you know, he shows him sort of, he picks it up optimistically, you know, holding up this like, this medieval black knight uh, outfit. Deku's like, did you see what that guy did? You think this is going to stop him? I don't know, dude. It's the only thing that they gave us. For you, at least. No, there has to be something better. What is the, what is the Demon King wearing? His normal garb. Oh. God damn this. Hell. This is really hell. You are correct. This is hell. Shut up. I just need to... I just need to think. You've had the last five hours to think, kid. I think... I think they want you. As they can hear the, the crowd cheering outside. The hall of gladiatory... The... Of gladiatory gladiators that are around them right now. Um, hundreds upon hundreds of armors stored throughout the place. One labeled Exiri and the other uh, Morpheus. Two of the greatest champions, Titan tells him. And there's mine right down the road. And then, you know, like another corner. You know, still a champion, however. Doesn't it say you won one fight? You know, there's semantics inside of it. Right. Um, I think I'm... Why don't I just take one of the champions? Well, then you'll be, con you'll be considered disrespectful to all of them. Taking another champion's armor. <laughs> you'll lose the crowd favor. What's the problem with that? Oh, kid, you really know nothing about hell. Basically, everybody can support you with souls. Right? They can provide soul energy to the fight. Whoever they think is going to win, or whoever they like the most, really, it's mostly the one that they think is going to win. Basically, you can morph that into weapons and other different stuff. However, usually the fight ends before any of that can even happen. You'll be different, though. Trust me. I mean, it's not like you got one shot by him. Shut up about this one shot thing. Last time I'll mention it. I swear. I swear on God. You don't believe in God. Hey. Atheists got a lie. Oh my god. Fine, 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 fine. We gotta do this. For Toga. Why do I feel like you've told that you've told yourself that a lot? Just get the armor on me. Right, right. Alright, kid. As you know, uh Deku breaks into one of the armors. Uh Xeri's armor. Which is this sort of lapis blue uh leather armor that sticks around your whole body very very versatile kind of like uh like uh yeah it's just leather basically but it it's basically made into a fabric um they start to coat it with different stuff though as you know they had some paint running around somewhere maybe as toga snuck snuck it in i'm um, painting it all into red 
Now I'm ready. He, he attaches a shield onto his left arm and also a simple sword on his right. I've never used weapons, however, these will be useful. A helmet put onto his head as they ready up. As all the crowd starts bustling and different, you know, shouts are heard. You know, horns are blared. There's a massive war cry coming out from the crowd. Wish me luck. I already did, Deku. Go. Survive for us. As Deku, um, you know, runs out from the ends of the Colosseum, into the middle of it all, a du the dust kicked up into his face. Is this memory dust? As, you know, he looks around to his surroundings, huge pyres shifting round and round. The environment was constantly changing. Um, monsters cuddled bet between uh, nooks and crannies that he could barely see. Massive mounds, uh, probably the ends of tortalises, things that survived in the desert that uh, t um, Titan t had told him about, that they were massive, as big as cities sometimes. The smaller ones were way stronger, though, than anything that was found there. He realized that this whole place was a tortalis. Is that possible? He remembers back to a time where, well, Toga had, well, was sharing her memories with him. As he shifts back through those memories, he remembers the city that they were on. The whole world was supposed to be on the back of a tortalis. These massive things. What would, what would happen if one of them was going to get mad? Or, nevertheless, the one that we're on right now. Deku comes back to their, their match anyways. As war horns blared even louder, the whole crowd starts cheering. And your king, your champion. King Exir! Yes, thank you, thank you. As everybody goes, yeah, yeah. You know, it's huge crowds. He's instantly given, you know, like a, a, a sword shaped out of the sort of, uh, the man, the souls of everybody that are already giving him all the love. As girls toss roses down to him, he grins upon his people. This guy, he's really getting on my nerves. All right, I think that'll be it because my space drive is low. So I'm gonna see you guys. Goodbye.